Hello my friends and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about my most favorite thing ever and that is fall wardrobe planning. I love fall, I love cozy season, and I also love making my own clothes. That's what this whole channel is about. But we are gonna be doing it a little bit differently because in the past I have made these videos and I always go in with these grand intentions. I have these beautiful plans, I lay them all out for you, I show you the patterns I'm gonna be doing, and then I make maybe one or two of those things. But what I have noticed is I kind of set myself up for failure by making these plans, and so we are doing it a lot more loosely going forward, but we're gonna have some structure because I've made a little worksheet for myself that I'm gonna be following, and I wanna share it with you because it's gonna guide this video and it's gonna also guide how I make my wardrobe this season. So while I want to maintain some fun and brightness and playfulness, because I think that's what's been missing in my previous planning videos, I do also know that like, my creativity personally thrives when it has like a bit of a container. So we're going to be talking about what that container looks like, AKA we're gonna be talking about my little worksheet that I made and I'm gonna be going through with it. And then I'll also have a link if you want to check it out. It's gonna be free if you wanna download it and use it to guide your own wardrobe planning. So I had a lot of fun when I made this. I really personally love planning as you may be able to tell from my sheer excitement. So the first little section we have is vibes. And what I think is fun about this is I had previously put style themes, style words, style vocabulary, all those sorts of categories. But I realized I was just being restrictive again and I was falling into that trap. And so I wanted to change it up from being like style themes. I wanted to change up this idea of trying to make clothes to look like other people or make clothes to emulate other people and instead just go off the vibes, go off the, the things that make me feel good, that make me feel excited, excited to wear them, excited to make them. And so that's why we have this vibes category. And in the category, I have fun, playful art teacher. I have color and neutrals. And then I have vintage DIY and high quality. And I think that these words really encapsulate what I want to do with my wardrobe this fall, but also just overall in general. There's a few people I follow on Instagram whose style is just so fun and makes me want to have fun. And that's kind of what I like, want to lean into is this like playfulness, this like art teacher vibe or like even like kindergarten teacher vibe. Just this you know, lack of taking yourself too seriously, just having fun, leaning into color, leaning into the feelings, choosing things because they make you feel a certain way. That's kind of what I want to go for and I have been doing that a little bit more lately and I've been noticing it's been super fun to just like let go of this idea of like aesthetics. I also put color and neutrals because I love neutrals and I think that neutrals can be really grounding in a wardrobe and also neutrals allow you to play with color more. So like, I'm gonna buy a plain black winter jacket this year. I already know that. I have it on my buy list, which you'll see. But I'm gonna buy this black jacket, but I'm planning on buying a black jacket so that I can have fun with different hats and scarves and accessories and shoes and really like lean into, you know, the black being the canvas and then everything else being the fun. And then I put vintage DIY and high quality. So vintage has always been like a love of mine. I love finding those like really special one-off pieces at the thrift store or at vintage stores. That's always gonna be something that is a part of like my personality and my wardrobe. I put DIY because this is a, you know, primarily a DIY space. I love making my own clothes, but then I also put quality because I wanna make sure that that is like the backbone of my wardrobe. Some gaps I wanna fill include blouses. So I really wanna bring in some really fun blouses, make them or thrift them, whatever. I also know I wanna start making some sweater vests and you'll see I actually have one planned over there. Um, but I wanna lean into sweater vests because I think that's a really fun layering piece. I also think it's a really great way to use up a smaller yarn quantity. I've been wanting to do that, so I think that's gonna be a you know a thing that I do is like make more sweater vests. I have quite a few knit sweaters, so I think trying the vest trend would be really fun. I also want to do more trousers, whether that's like elastic waist trousers or actual like proper trousers. I really love jeans, but I think I'm good on jeans, except for like one pair that I'm actually making right now. But I think trying trousers is a really fun way to experiment with pant making, and I really want to get good at pant making. Like I really want to get good at pant making. Uh, I know I need a winter coat. I have one. Honestly, I hate it. I rarely wear it and I end up just like being cold um, because I'm wearing my other coats that I like more. So I just want to get like a really solid black puffer coat. 
And then I want to lean into like fun accessories, like I want to make hats and scarves. I don't do a lot of that. I also want to like play more with earrings and jewelry and necklaces. Things that will like, you know, make my wardrobe a little bit more fun and playful. And then I have these three categories. I have thrift, buy, and DIY. So for thrifting, I always put vintage because, you know, thrifting vintage or going to vintage stores, that's something that I just love doing and I will never stop bringing in vintage into my wardrobe. That's just how I keep things really fun um, as well as, you know, obviously making my own clothes, but being able to buy things that I know that I maybe wouldn't make or that are just so special is like a very like fun, playful thing for me is something I really like doing. Uh, I will always thrift denim. I will never say no to like a good pair of vintage jeans or like a really nice vintage jacket. That's just something I'll always do. I love thrifting denim. And then also men's button up shirts. I do have a few button up shirts that I want to make because that is a skill I'm interested in honing in. But I also know that I want to, you know, thrift more men's shirts because they're already done and they can also be DIY'd, which I have some ideas for I'll share later. And then fun one-off pieces that I am at the thrift store, kind of similar to vintage, but things that I'm like, that is so cool. I haven't seen that before. I really want that. Those are the kind of things that keep a wardrobe really fresh, I think. And then for my buying category, I have a puffer coat. Uh, I just know that that's something I am going to end up buying, so I put it on there. Uh, I have Chelsea boots, because I really want a nice pair of Chelsea boots. I have a leather bag, because that's something I want to save up and just buy like a really quality leather bag. And then I have t-shirts and long sleeves because I'm just quite frankly not interested in making those things. Uh, maybe thrifting them, but I again want to bring in things that I, I think are really high quality and that are going to last long. And then my DIY category is by far the largest, it makes sense, but I've got sweaters and sweater vests, trousers and fun pants. And I have blouses and fun dresses. I keep putting the emphasis on fun because again that's kind of like one of the vibes I really want to encapsulate but also I, I think that when it comes to me and like my wardrobe I just really like making fun things. It keeps me engaged and it has me excited to finish the project so I keep saying fun because that's just going to be a marker of like my interest in something and it's gonna help me get things done and not leave these like projects to waste away. And then lastly, I've got upcycles, mending, thrift flips, embroidery, block printing, leaning into like the DIY, like that creative, fun, expression, playfulness, really experimenting, trying new things. That's something that I really want to try this fall and winter. So let's get into the things that I actually plan on making. I've got a few really cool things I'm looking forward to. So let's get into that. Okay, so my first knitting project Project is super fun. I've already swatched it. This is Arcane Fiber Works Through the Valley and it's coming up a bit brighter than it is in person but it's still quite bright. And then this is what the cake looks like. For this project I'm gonna be making the cardigan, cardigan, because <laughs> her name is Degan. Um, I, I think this is the perfect match. I love the collar. I just loved everything about this design. And then I've got a really fun project that I've been really enjoying knitting. I'm gonna try to hold it up. Please excuse the the chaos that is my unwoven ends. <laughs> Here it is. So I'm about like just under the armholes. And so this is gonna be the marshmallow vest. I am absolutely obsessed with how this is turning out. It's super fuzzy. I'm using mohair and alpaca suri. Um, I'm doing two strands of alpaca suri and then I'm also doing three strands of mohair uh, and it's getting super fluffy and I just cannot wait to wear this. I'm really looking forward to wearing it soon without anything underneath or maybe like a little t-shirt and then in the fall with like way more layers. I think again, this is like leaning into the sweater vest craze that I've been in and I have a feeling I'm going to be making more sweater vests in the future. So this is about as far as I've got so far. Um, honestly, this is working up really quickly. I'm really enjoying knitting this and it's all using scrap yarn. So the nice thing about scrap yarn is it feels free. <laughs> like I didn't have to buy anything. I already owned all this stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I can't wait to show you guys this. It's been super fun. Um, weaving in the ends is gonna be its own monster, but you know, that's a small price to pay. And then my last knitting project that I have on the go is this little sock. So this is a sock I've made before. It is a, it is Wise Hilda's basic ribbed sock. 
you can see what that texture looks like as well as this yarn and I can't remember what the yarn is off the top of my head so I'll have to um, go in and, and put it in the description box or on the screen but you can see this it looks way more like fall palette in here and this is definitely like a fall palette but it really again has like those colors that I've been really wanting I basically it's a rainbow um, but I like how it has this really gentle striping with all the colors it's so pretty it's working up really nicely and this is my favorite sock pattern I mean I've only made it one other time but it's my favorite sock pattern I really like a ribbed sock I find it just fits the foot better and then um, it's just a really easy vanilla sock so I've been working on this during meetings you know if I have some time to like get a little quick knit in I bring it with me on the metro I just kind of carry a little sock with me now at all times and then if I can get in a few rows I do so that's the final knitting project that I currently have planned I have a lot of other ideas but I'm gonna save them I'm gonna save them because I think otherwise I'm just gonna have too many, too many. <laughs> um, so we have three, I think that's a good number for now. Okay, and then we'll get into my sewing plans, starting with this fabric. Look how pretty this is. So this is a caddy cotton from Core Fabrics. I bought it myself and it's gonna be a blouse. So I'm gonna be doing the zero waist crop blouse, the like longer sleeve puff sleeve version. Uh, this is from Brigida Helmerson. I think that this is gonna match perfectly. I love that it's a zero waste pattern, so I'm gonna be making a video on that because I think it would be fun to explore what it looks like to make a zero waste pattern. I've personally never done one before, so I'm really excited about this. It's just a beautiful fabric, and I've always wanted to try one of Brigitte's patterns, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And this plays into like the color and the fun. I mean, it doesn't match any of the colors of anything that I have there, which is something I've been really worried about in the past, where I'm like, oh, I've been bringing all these colors they don't necessarily all go together. But I'm trying not to think about that at this stage and just have fun, so. Yeah, this is gonna be a little blouse. Okay, and next up, things are looking a little bit more boring, honestly, but it's because I want to really focus on like technique as well. So while a big focus is color and play and fun, I also do want to like balance like a really cool sweater vest with like a nice button up shirt. And so I have this fabric here. This is an Oxford cotton from Core Fabrics. And I think that this is gonna be a really cool, great, oversized button-up shirt. I haven't decided which one I wanna make it. I have a number of button-up shirt patterns in, in my stash, so I'll pick one of those. I don't know exactly yet. I think probably a little bit more like oversized, um, kind of leaning into like the menswear a bit. Again, I just think that I really wanna like hone in on my skills and make like really quality pieces. And that's also gonna be the difference is I'm gonna be making things that have more intention in terms of like, I don't, I'm not gonna set the exact idea for the shirt yet. It'll kind of come to me when I'm ready. And then I've got this stripey shirting. Uh, I don't know if you can see it exactly, but it's got like a really light gray and white stripe. And at first I thought I was gonna do a classic button up shirt, but the more that I think about it, I think it would be fun to lean into something a bit more feminine um, and really like play, cause this is gonna come up a bit more structured and it'll be able to hold volume really well. So I might play around with this. I don't have an exact idea of what I wanna do with it. I was thinking about the Coeli blouse. That is one, oh, now that I think about that, I'm like, that would be really cool. And maybe do some like lace inserts. But the Coeli blouse is a really stunning, really like visually beautiful blouse, lots of volume, lots of layers, lots of really interesting techniques. And that could be a fun thing to play with for this fabric. So maybe that's it, maybe that it becomes a Coeli blouse. And then my last two sewing projects I'm really excited about. Uh, one is actually almost done, I just have to add the waistband and then hem them and then they're done. But these are the Co trousers from Daughter Judy. They have really fun top stitching detail, which I mean, I actually did the top stitching detail. It wasn't necessarily in the pattern, but I really love this like contrasting top stitching. It's all over my Pinterest board. I have a ton of different ideas for top stitching. So I saved all of those and I've just been kind of incorporating it into my projects. And I think it's a really like fun way to add visual interest, especially with like a darker denim like this. And this is like a really interesting denim that's got a really nice sort of like slubbiness to it. It's called a popcorn denim. I really love this fabric. And I would love to make a little matching, either a matching waistcoat, because I have more fabric left, or make a little matching jacket. I haven't fully decided yet. And the next one you might be like, Cassie, why on earth are you gonna be making a white project for the fall? But that's where 
this comes in. Look at this dye. So this is cherry red. Uh, this is from RIT, so it can be used on cotton, wool, nylon, more. Um, I'm gonna be dyeing this red. Ugh, crazy, who is she? <laughs> so I actually have had a few like inspo ideas on my Pinterest as well. I've had this set on my Pinterest for ages, like probably years, I think at this point, but I've always thought maybe I'll do it in a different color. And then I realized I had, I think I have like three yards of this fabric. And so I thought, why not make this set, dye it? Because I wasn't really using this fabric this is like a really nice denim, and I think it would be perfect for this little matching set. I like the idea of that a lot, and I cannot wait to get into that. The whole focus for this season, I think, is just gonna be playing and making, DIYing and exploring. It's something I'm really passionate about. I also have my little worksheet, again, in the description box if you wanna get that. And I love making these planning videos, and I have a whole bunch, so you can watch some of them here. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.